Howdy y'all, my name is Gretchen. I'm the Restless Thrifter and I am a reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. I'm also selling on Facebook Marketplace these days, local pickup, because I'm moving. I'm moving my business and my household, my husband and two dogs, from Denver, Colorado to the Dallas, Texas area. And it's a lot. We're merging households with my dad. And so we have to get rid of a bunch of things. We don't know how long we'll be living with him. And so we don't really want to keep things in storage for years and years, you know, only to take them out of storage and go, why did we keep this? Why? We're not using it. And since my dad has a lot of furniture and things, as do we, um, we don't need them all. So he's keeping some things. We're keeping some things. We're both getting rid of some things. And I've been selling the heck out of some stuff on Facebook Marketplace. So I'm going to share with you guys in this video some more things that have sold. My previous video, the one right before this, I showed you guys some things and I'm going to show you some more. But first I want to show you some things I picked up recently because I am still sourcing a little bit. This is something that was, I don't think white was on sale, but this was $6.99, probably a little high, but I thought it was really cute. Might keep it for myself. It's a Matilda Jane bag and it's black with pink roses. It's like a vinyl and it has some velvet detail. Again, I may keep it for myself because it is really cute and really clean. And I kind of need a new purse, although I like the crossbody style a little bit better. And this one just looks like it would hold a lot of things. I'm not a Matilda Jane person by any means, but it is really cute. And I can't remember what the comp showed, but I'll be putting those on the screen. This one is a brand I had not heard of before, but it looks like it does well, especially in the larger bags. I did pick up a smaller one. This is Angela Adams and it's out of Portland, Maine. It's just a little canvas bag. This seems very Y2K to me because I had a little coach bag that was similar to this. Um, and with the colors and the canvas and the tiny nature, I don't know what you're supposed to carry in this cute little bag, but it is sweet. And it was $2.99. These are Vionics. They are in beautiful shape. I think someone bought them, maybe wore them once and then decided, no, here, let me show you right side up, Vionic. I'll show you inside the shoe too. I mean, you can just see that there wasn't really any wear. It's got this nice little zipper detail here. They are leather slip-ons for the most part. And Vionic is a great comfort shoe if you're not familiar with it. I, I I'm trying to sell more shoes. I focus a little bit more on comfort brands simply because that's what I know a little bit better because I have bad feet. I have plantar fasciitis, rheumatoid arthritis, and um, just bad feet. So I have some Vionics myself and these are really cute. What size are they? Out of curiosity, I don't think I would keep them. They probably wouldn't work well for me anyway with my feet. Seven and a half. So no, not my size, but Anyway, these were cute. Again, I'll put a comp. These are a little dirtier than I thought, but these are North Face. These are a women's boot and they are that um, heat seeker 300 gram insulation. That says 200 gram, I think, insulation. Suede and they've got this cute little fold down look contrasting colors, some red and green. And they are in pretty good shape, although you know, the suede has some spots, but you're wearing these in the winter. And they were also $14.99. And these were, uh, like, maybe I shouldn't have picked them up. Y'all, I hadn't been out of the house in a week since our cruise. By the way, we went on a cruise. It was an Alaskan cruise. It was wonderful to get out of the house for the first time in years. And I'll put some pictures from our trip at the end of this. And I was happy to get out of the house on this thrifting trip, trip. I even went by myself, meaning I drove. These were on sale. Green was 50% off. These were $12.99, so 50% off of that. And I actually bought them because they're my size. They're a cane, and they looked really comfortable. They are, but they're, they're fugly. <laughs> I'm going to go out there and say that. They were a little bit too ugly for me um, and my weird feet. So um, probably not going to keep them for myself. And I think I can sell them and still make a profit, no problem. If you're interested and you don't have weird feet, they are size nine and a half. 
I bought two other pairs of shoes that are upstairs. I'm going to put some pictures in here because I left them upstairs so that my husband can polish them because I learned that he can polish boots really well. He's been keeping this a secret from me. And he's like, how did you not know this? I was in the Marine Corps and in the Cadet Corps at Texas A&M. And I, I don't know. Just like I was surprised when we went shooting for the first time and you hit the bullseye like a million times. It's not a bullseye. That's like darts. See what I, I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, he's a very good shooter as well. Oh my God, I didn't know. I've only been married to you forever. These belts were probably a mistake. $6.99 each. Um, they're probably a mistake because of the cleaning that they're going to require. They are Vineyard Vines, and they are a Kentucky Derby um, collaboration. They're really cute, but they're pretty dirty. And so, when did I go? I think I can still return these tomorrow. Um, so, I'll probably do that. I'll probably take these back and um, if it's still a one-week return policy... The other two things I got were a pair of Doc Martens and a pair of Fry boots, which these are not things I find normally. So I was pretty excited. They were not priced up too much and the comps looked good. So I'll put some photos in, little intermission here, so you can see how those do. And they were, one is USX, the Docs, but the Fry were women's boots, but they were in the men's section. They were both in the men's section and I think would be something I would list in the women's, even for the docks, because of the size. So we'll see. So I picked those up, and I'm going to get those things cleaned up and listed probably next week. Um, I had some other things that I picked up recently that I haven't listed either, because as soon as we found out we were moving, I switched into let me sell everything that belongs to me mode and not inventory but I'm trying to sprinkle some inventory in there too so that I can sell some of these, you know, thing, bulkier things especially. So yeah, um, now I will insert what I sold on Facebook. So y'all, I never thought I would be selling so many things on Facebook Marketplace for local pickup, um, but it's been a great way to shed some of this stuff that we've collected over the years and you know it's still a lot of stuff that I really like but what can you do when you're going to move and you're combining households you need to get rid of some things so for those of you who aren't familiar with it this is the Facebook marketplace dashboard well actually the dashboard looks like this and this shows your last payout I mean that's if you actually sell it without local pickup like shipping and I'm not doing any shipping on Facebook right now and it also gives you an option to delist and relist and renew. I don't have any right now. And then it shows you all your listings here. You can see I'm selling some lots of stuffed animals because those are big and bulky and I'd rather not move that inventory. But we are here to talk about my household goods, my own stuff that, that I've been selling. And so quite a bit, quite a bit of things that I never really thought would sell. Okay, so the first one is this hammock, set of hammocks. I did steal a picture because, you know, my hammock pictures didn't have a person in them. <laughs> I took uh, a couple of quick pictures. Our yard needs mowed so bad, but whatever, right? Um, and my, yeah, here's my dog in it. There's Reacher. And so I just put the hammocks up because we take them down when we're not using them so that they don't get faded or torn or snowed on like in the winter and these had only been used for one summer and here they are so these two hammocks there it's a brand called hammock sky and you actually can't find the this double hammock um for sale right now so i don't know if that helped um but i sold two for 38 dollars really good condition pretty colors and the guy came and did porch pickup. And I just have people drop cash in my mail slot if they're going to pay cash or send me Venmo. And um, I'd rather do that than have interactions that involve dog barking and jumping and all that kind of stuff. So I think other people probably like the porch pickup as well. So that's the first item. Actually, it's the most recent item. We're kind of going in reverse order, I think. 
And then the next one was, I wonder if there's a better way to see this than yeah, view listing. There we go. This lot of 21 ball mason jars. They're ball jars, but people call them mason jars, but this is the ball brand. I had small ones and large ones. And when I was doing a lot of meal prepping, like overnight oats and salads in a jar and stuff, I would use these. I had way more than I needed anyway, and I decided to get rid of most of them. I kept four large and four small, and they were in really good condition. Um, 11 pint jars and 10 quart for $18, which is at least half the price of what you'd have to pay. So yeah, just shot a few quick pics. I am not going to worry about things like water spots and all that when I'm taking Facebook Marketplace photos. I'm just not. People are picking them up off my porch. They realize they just came out of my cabinet. You know, it's no big deal. So that was, and, and these are all been really fast sales too. Um, if it wasn't a fast sale, I will make a note of it. Table and chairs, I showed a picture with them together, but I was selling just the table and then the chairs separately because I thought I could get more money that way. I was correct. They actually were not a set. So this table and chairs didn't go together anyway. I bought the table when I worked um, in corporate at JCPenney and they had some big sale. And so I got this thing for like really cheap. I want to say less than $100, but I don't remember. I sold it for $199 and it's got this extension right here that you can collapse and push the table together. So it's a foldable extension leaf and make it a little smaller. These are the other photos. You can see how messy my house is. I did steal a picture of a similar tables foldable extension leaf just to show a description of what that looks like. Because I'm doing all this while my husband is at work and so I don't want to have to wait for him to get home to help me, you know, get a picture of a certain thing. I just want to get these up there. That sold really quickly. Lots of people asking about it for $200. And then the chairs. The chairs sold the very next day. And I sold all six of them together. They're in really great shape. I did show a few pictures of any like light spots. Like this is the only spot on a seat. And it's really, really light. Like I didn't try to wipe it off or anything. I didn't want to make it worse. This is the back of a chair. And this is the back of a chair. I guarantee you each one of those is from the dogs. I got a great deal on these two and I sold them for $2.99. Actually, I did sell them to her for $2.50, I think, didn't I? Yes, I think I gave her a discount. And so I sold them for $2.50. So all together, my tables and chairs, I got $4.50. That's really good. Yeah, someone picked up this storage cube for $10. And this is actually something I had been st storing inventory in. This was Ben D1, as you can see. I still had my inventory in it. It's a great little storage cube. So 10 bucks, porch pickup. My niece, who is house and dog sitting for me at the time, put that outside for me. I do think that's the only thing that sold like that. I do apologize if I end up doing any repeats, but I'm pretty sure this sold later. Um, then my last video, this is the magic bullet, all its little gadgets and compartments. I keep everything, including the recipe book and user guide, um, 18 piece set. I sold for $29. A girl came and picked that up. She said her boyfriend had just broken hers. So <laughs> she was happy to get a replacement. This lady's asking about the candlesticks good those things a lot of people ask about it nobody's bought yet all right and then there was the neutral bullet that i barely remembered even buying but i had purchased this for work right before the pandemic and i might have used it once yeah i might have used it once it just has the three cups but it was in excellent condition i sold it for 39 sorry while i do business here um Anytime I'm, I have a feeling this is not a real person. Anytime they just want to come pick something up right away without asking me where I am or anything, it's probably a fake person. So you can see Lori Bradley joined Facebook in 2023. 
probably not a real person. I do like to go check out her profile. I'm not going to bother looking at it right now to see if it looks like they're a real person. But when they say that their profile was just, yeah, she, she wants my phone number. So here's a little lesson. Um, I'm just going to block her. There's no reason to even engage with them and say, no, sorry, don't give out my phone number. I used to, but I don't bother anymore. And I don't always report them. I'm going to see what happens when I do this. Uh, I can tell it's a scam. I don't know what good will do, but I'm going to try to, yeah, I want to block Okay, I don't know if it goes against any standards, so I can't really report her to Facebook in that way. But she won't bother me anymore. Fake glory over there. Um, so that is something to be aware of. And it usually seems to happen with my higher priced items. And sometimes when I list like a bunch of things in a row, I'll get um, the same message from the same person. And that's usually a red flag too. So you probably understand the red flags. Just know that it will seem sometimes legit and that like one time this person was like, okay, I want to go ahead and pay for it now before I pick it up, which isn't all that unusual, but um, it was a $150 item and, you know, she hadn't asked me any questions about it. It was a couple of antique chairs and she, I, she asked for my Venmo. I gave it to her. And then she asked for my email address and she sent me a screenshot saying it's asking for email, which I know isn't the case because no one else has had to have my email address in order to pay me. And I don't have it set up that way. So I asked her to try again and she ignored me. So I don't think it was one of those that had just bought their or set up their Facebook account. I don't know what she was after, but I wasn't going to give her any more information than she needed. So. Anyhow, this Nutribullet sold for $39 to uh, a guy who came and picked it up. All right, this mirror definitely got a lot of interest. It actually came with the house. Um, <laughs> it left a big hole in the wall, I guess, and whatever hardware they used. And so maybe that's why they didn't want to take it down, but they just left it up so they didn't have to fix the hole, I guess. And we liked the mirror, so I used it. And um, But I didn't want to take it with me, so I sold it for 20 bucks. And then there is this, it's a retro looking chair. It is not vintage. Well, technically it's vintage because it's older than 20 years, but it is not the one from the 50s and 60s. It is a replica of that. And I bought this long, long ago. My mom also got one. And so I asked my dad, I said, can I just have that chair of mom's? And he said, sure. So I'm selling mine and I sold it for $39. It's got that step stool. You can take the step stool off. I always just leave it attached and used it. Um, has that one little tear, but $39. I think they sell new for like 70 or 80. And this humidifier, I think this might be the last thing because we talked about that chest of drawers, didn't we? I'll go back and look. But this humidifier, we bought like for $60 or something at Costco. I don't know. Maybe it was less, but we spent a lot. We didn't use it, but once or twice. I don't know why we didn't use it more, but I don't like filling it up. Um, you know, having to refill it. <laughs> I'm just lazy. 10 bucks, y'all. I probably could have gotten more, but it's one of those things. I wasn't sure how much I could get for it. Wanted it out of the house, didn't want to mess with it. I probably could have even shipped it, but we didn't have the box or anything. And this dresser, so this dresser, y'all. I've had it since I was about 12 years old, I think. Um, and it had, came with a desk and hutch, too, and I guess I got rid of that a long time ago. The paint was definitely nicked up. You can see rings from water glasses and whatnot. So it was in by no means perfect. You can see like the gouge on this side here um, for moving it. So I sold it for 20 bucks and they seemed happy with it. So I'm sure it'll be a project piece for them. But man, that thing's held up over all of these years and moves, lots and lots of moves. 
And then the last thing I sold on Facebook recently was this TV. Sold it for $70. And it was a 46 inch LCD HD TV. And it has the remote, of course. Most importantly, there's the model name of it. And this worked great. It was about 13 years old. But, and so other, other than putting off some heat when you leave it on for a long time, um, just because it, not because there's anything wrong with it, just because it's older technology, um, it was great and it had a great picture. So this guy was happy. He had just moved to Denver and so he was happy with his purchase and came and got that. And that is everything that I sold on Facebook recently, but I did sell some other household goods on eBay and I'll go ahead and switch over to Vindu and I just want to show you what else I've sold that has been sitting around my house so that maybe you'll want to go poke around your house and see if there's anything you want to get rid of you don't have to be moving to do this you know to do a good purge of stuff you don't need so I had these I bought a three pack off of Amazon and I didn't need it after all and rather than just move them and let them sit in my house until they expired, <laughs> I decided to sell them. And sold them on eBay for $15 to someone in South Korea. So it looked like they were being shipped to a um, distributor. And is that what you call them? Freight, uh, a freight forwarder? Not a freight forwarder. You know what I mean, right? And uh, for $15 plus shipping. So I was happy to get rid of that. That was sold in probably a week. My George Foreman grill. I never would have thought to pick up George Foreman grills. But I might be looking for some in the future. Um, this is... See, eBay should... I should be able to see the listing. I'm confused. Oh, there it is. View the list. I knew I had a view listing button somewhere. So this was my personal one. But my dad has one. I think the same one. So I went ahead and sold mine and it had lots of use we used this thing a lot i did clean up this coil really good before i shipped it by the way um, there's a scratch and then there was this like wear on the non-stick coating and i showed that and you know just wanted to show that it was used um, i sold it with a drip tray and the booklets for 39 dollars plus shipping I think their shipping, because they were further away, was um, 16 or something. And I did have to pay a couple of bucks extra to ship it, because I needed a pretty big box to make sure it was safe and secure. So I don't know. I might look for these if they're really cheap. Like if I'm picking them up for less than $5, the, the removable grill plates, I think, is a good feature. Or if they were new in box, I might purchase them. Because um, it wasn't too difficult to ship. Obviously, a new unbox would be even easier, so that would be great. That just went out today. Um, what else sold that? Um, these were actually uh, two things that I'd picked up to resell, but we were using these Melmac dishes because I've packed up my regular dishes, and then they sold for 60 bucks. I was like, well, that's cool. Sure way to sell something is to start to use it. Okay, these pure... Water filter replacements, we stopped using a pure filter pitcher and we switched to a Brita. I have no idea. Maybe this, the things fit each other. My husband says yes, they do. Um, I was not convinced and I found this package and we have tons of Brita filter. Uh, Brita filter, so I saw that they sell and I sold them for $15. For future reference, um, carbon filters never expire. There's no expiration date on them. This was something else sitting around our house, this Celebra Duck Dirk Nowitzki rubber duck. I had listed it initially for $50 just to see what I could get for it because nothing was listed. I ended up selling it for $25 plus shipping. And then these Hyper Pet Flippy Floppers, y'all. These things, we had a box of 50. And our dog had used a lot of them. She loves her Flippy Floppers. They're Frisbees. These cannot be purchased um, on, from the manufacturers anymore, I don't think. And it, they sold really fast. I sold them in lots of um, two, four, six. 
and this one I only made two dollars and seventeen cents on these six because I listed them really low for another guy to pick up and buy but he didn't buy them in time and someone else bought them but that's okay we were really just trying to get rid of them um, because we had more than we needed for our dog and we're trying not to be hoarders anymore wonder why I have glass Mrs. Butterworth's bottles they're not even on Jemima they're Mrs. Butterworth well <laughs> This was part of my own personal crafting collection. Um, actually, I had gotten these from my mother-in-law. She had probably 40 or 50 of these bottles in her house of all sizes, and she couldn't help herself. She couldn't get rid of them. I think she finally sold a lot of them with her estate sale, or they ended up in the trash. But I took four of them. I took um, a couple of different sizes and I was going to turn them into soap dispensers I never did that and so I sold them I was like I gotta get this stuff out of my house and so I did sell this these two for $15 plus shipping and since I didn't pay anything my profit was eight fifty four. and I got two more for sale if y'all are interested Another thing that ended up selling on eBay, I didn't make much money on it either. I've made $7 and it was kind of a hassle to ship, was this uh, mandolin slicer. If I'm going to sell stuff like this, I need to have better boxes um, and be prepared to sell things like this because this was a bit long and yet not deep. You know what I mean? So it's like you just yeah, once you have the right boxes for things it is no problem to sell and ship this type of stuff but I am not equipped so if I'm gonna start to get it more into home goods I need to diversify my boxes and it's just hard to be ready to sell anything of any shape so this sold for $21 that was including shipping so probably like 10 15 dollars I can't remember exactly and I never used it I used it once to slice some um, uh, zucchini like long thin pieces of zucchini I think I was doing zucchini roll-ups and then I realized that those are a pain to make and I don't need <laughs> to do that here's all the other flippy floppers I sold I probably made like a total of $20 on all of them when all is said and done, maybe close to 30. Um, that, that one I showed you where I only made $2, that was, um, that was the cheapest that I sold them for. I sold a bunch of this Becky Higgins crafting stuff, Project Life, Becky Higgins. This is like replacement pages and pockets and with shipping they sold for $32. I also sold some albums, and this was my personal stuff that I just never ended up putting my albums together. Never. These um, squeaky balls are also things that we buy for our dogs, and we buy them in bulk, and so I'm selling off some of them just to pay for his squeaky ball habit. They are the best balls if you want a good ball for your dog. They're probably too small for him, but he loves them that size. <clears throat> okay, so books. You can't give them away. <laughs> Nobody wants them. And so what I did is I made a bunch of listings for decorator book lots. This is a set of green ones. It's the only set that I've sold so far. They were so cute. Look at the cute titles. You got Practical Magic, Weird Sisters, What the Dickens. I think the titles helped sell them as well. And yeah, books, just books without their covers. I asked her if she wanted the covers because I could send them to her. And she said, no, she loves them the way they are. Sold for $20 plus $5.67 shipping. And I've got a whole bunch of others listed, but these are the only ones that have sold so far. And whatever books don't sell, I'll end up donating, but I'd really like to find homes for as many of my books as I can. I think I'm passing by some stuff that's mine, like that's closed, but that's okay. Here's one of the Becky Higgins Project Life albums. I would definitely pick these up if you see them cheap. They are kind of a hassle to ship because of their size. But if you have the right shipping materials, that's not a problem. So with shipping, this one sold for $31.24, but they sold 
fast because you can't find them anymore. And these were unopened. These were new. And I started selling that stuff off. Yo, I think I'm psychic. I don't know. I'm sure I'm not, but I think I am. <laughs> I started selling off our own personal stuff before we decided to move, before we even considered moving. I was looking around the house trying to figure out what to get rid of. And that Becky Higgins stuff was the first um, of that kind of stuff that I was looking for. I was like, I've got, and the Aunt Jemima, not Aunt Jemima, the Mrs. Butterworth. So that's everything I think that um, I've sold from around my house. Everything else here, the clothes and stuffed animals and stuff that you see uh, um, are things that I sold mostly on eBay, also on Poshmark and a few things on Mercari over the last few months. I've just been kind of slowly keeping my business alive by delisting and relisting. All right, so that was everything that I've been selling um, from my household on Facebook Marketplace and a few things on eBay. Uh, I photographed some more things today, um, some Fiesta wear. I'm just trying to sell off some pieces some excess like decor and mugs and stuff that I'm just not gonna need. And if these things don't sell before we move, some of them may end up getting donated. Some of them may go into my inventory as permanent inventory, you know, that'll just get moved with me. And then some of them may end up in storage as, oh, I like them too much and I don't wanna let go of them. You know, there's a lot up in the air <laughs> with this move. So thank you for watching. And if you were new, please think about subscribing. I do post um, some what solds and some hauls when I am not in the middle of a move a bit frequently. I, I, I post twice a week, usually sometimes three times a week when I'm not in the middle of the move. But my videos for the next couple of months will be more about moving a business and moving a household and selling as it relates to that. So that may be of interest to you too. Thanks and have a great day.